Last night, the rain poured down. Today, the stream is empty. Where did the water go? Dot and Jabber are on the case. Clues are everywhere, but can the mouse detectives fit them together? Dot and Jabber and the Mystery of the Missing Stream by Ellen Stoll Walsh. The detectives couldn't believe their eyes. Leaves and branches were everywhere. There's no mystery about this mess, said Dot. The storm last night nearly blew me away. I bet the stream is really full, said Jabber. Let's go float some sticks. Sorry hissed a snake. You are too late. The stream is empty. Come and see. The mice hurried after the snake. It's empty all right, said Dot. There are just a few puddles left. When did you see the water last? During the storm, at first the rain made the water deep. Then slowly, slowly, it disappeared. The snake sighed. Can you find it? We've never looked for lost water before, said Jabber. Let's look upstream, said Dot. That's where the water comes from, when there is water. The detectives followed the stream bed. After a while, they came to a puddle crowded with minnows, all bumping into each other. Excuse me. Sorry. Beg your pardon. This is what's left of our stream since the storm last night. A minnow complained. It's hardly big enough for all of us. We're looking for your missing water, said Dot. Until we find it. Why don't you all try swimming around in the same direction? Good idea, said the minnows. Which way? Excuse me. This way. Uh, sorry. This way. Sorry. sorry. Excuse me. The detectives walked and walked. I'm tired of climbing over sticks, said Jabber. I think these sticks might be clues, said Dot. They blew down at about the same time the stream disappeared. Then I'm tired of climbing over clues, said Jabber. How can a stick make water go away? That's part of the mystery, said Dot. Some crayfish were waiting by a puddle. We're taking turns, they told the mice. Turtles in there now. Before the stream disappeared, there was plenty of room for everyone. Now look what we have. Leaves and branches. We can't swim in leaves and branches. Leaves and branches are everywhere, said Dot. We think they are clues to the missing water mystery. We just don't know how the clues fit together, said Jabber. Oh, Jabber said Dot. I think you've done it. One branch can't stop a stream, but lots of them put together might. I get it, said Jabber. Like the dams the beavers make. Yes, said Dot. Only without the beavers. Come on, said Jabber. Let's go see if we're right. The mice raced upstream. At last they found it, a magnificent dam made of many branches jammed together. Well, Jabber, we've done it again, said Dot. Another mystery solved by the great mouse detectives. The clues fit, that's for sure, said Jabber. But we have one more problem. The water's still stuck. Twigs snapped. Branches cracked. 
the damn balls from blown. Look out, Jabber! Now our problem is to get out of here fast! Yelled Dot. They scrambled up the bank just as the mighty dam split apart. The water tumbled over itself in its rush to fill the stream. The two tired detectives sat on the bank and watched the stream flow past. I suppose we should start back, said Dot. Let's put some of those clues together and make a raft, said Jabber. We came all this way to find the water. Now it can take us home. 